This is the Marketing Minute with Eric Rhodes, author of the number one Amazon bestseller, Make More Money Selling Your Art, proven techniques to turn your passion into profit. Well, in the Marketing Minute, I try to answer your marketing questions, which you can always email me, eric at plenairmagazine.com. Always looking for questions. Here's one from Susan Estill. It doesn't say where Susan is from. She says, is there a place to find all the three types of plein air competitions, invitationals, juried, open, et cetera? Well, we do an annual issue in Plein Air Magazine. If you're a subscriber to Plein Air Magazine, you're going to get this. There's an annual issue which talks about all the shows, all the events, it doesn't so much talk about art competitions that you can enter, but all the other things that you can enter. And so that's a good thing. The other part of her question is, how does entering a competition help in marketing yourself or your art? Well, it helps in a couple of ways. First off, if you're in a competition like a plein air event competition, then you're winning awards, you're getting attention, they're promoting the names of the artist. It's helping your career. People are going to see you, they're going to see how you work, how you respond, and they're going to uh, get to know you a little bit. If you're talking about the kind of competitions like online competitions like the plein air salon competition, it helps you because it gives you something to talk about, something for your resume that you won in a category or you won the overall competition. This is the kind of thing that helps in your branding. Remember, branding is a lifetime commitment. You're always looking for shows you can talk about, events you can talk about, things that you've done where you've been successful, and that's where these competitions will help you. And then you can, of course, milk it by putting it out there and talking about it to your collectors, your newsletter, and all those other things. Here's another question from Maria Palvo, Maria Palvo Hansel. Again, it doesn't say where. She says, how important is a degree or a formal art education in the art industry today? Well, I probably will make some people mad by saying this. If, if you want to teach... If you want to teach in certain institutions, college, maybe even high school, a master's of fine art is very important. And a lot of colleges require a master's of fine art, but you got to get it from the right school. Like I had a neighbor who has an MS, MFA, but she can't draw to save her life because they didn't have any drawing programs. That she ended up doing collage. So she ended up having to study with someone after college to learn how to draw and learn how to paint. So it depends on the college, but if you want to teach, you've got to have an MFA probably, at least especially in college level. If it's about, you know, do you need a, a degree to sell art um, or for collectors to take, take you seriously? I don't think so. I mean, it's nice. It's going to make you, in theory, if you get a good degree, you get a good education, it's going to make you a better artist. So that's going to help you. But from a marketing standpoint, I don't think it's going to make a huge amount of difference. What they care about is the quality of your art. I hope this is helpful. This has been the Marketing Minute with Eric Rhodes. You can learn more at artmarketing.com.